Bruh, I'm about to turn Super Saiyan 11, Ultra Instinct, Nine Tails Chakra Gyarados. Okay, what does that even mean? This is but before we get into this video, I have to thank you guys for your overwhelming support because it's because of you that I get sent these amazing items. So thank you so much and shout out to Huey on for sending us their new canvas 22. And I mean, it's brand spanking new. I don't know what the accent's about. I think it's only been out for like a month or so. I feel special. I feel it deep down in my heart. I feel the love from Huey on. Thank you guys. Some of you guys know that a few months ago, Huey on actually sent me this bad boy, the GT191. And I love it. Been using it to animate, I would say, my past seven animations. But now, they have sent me something even better. And Huion wants me to show it off to you guys, review it, let you guys know my honest opinion on it, and let you guys know how you can pick one of these bad boys up yourself. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All right, we'll start with the unboxing first. Here is everything, all the equipment. Once you slide it out, this is what it looks like. There's a thank you note from Huion. Thank you, Huion. There's a power cord right here in the first slot. There's a power block right here let's see the nice little flip i just did right there and there's a glove right here you wear this glove you put that on so there's no smudges on the screen while you draw and there's the pen right here when i first picked this up i noticed how light it was it's a lot different from the old pen which is kind of it's a lot heavier there's actually a battery inside of this pen this is the old pen and you have to plug it in in the back which is kind of a hassle but they stay charged really a long time it's not, not that big of a deal but the new one look how sleek Look how beautiful. Look how, uh -huh. no, okay, stop. It's, it's really light though. It's really light. I really love how it feels. It has really nice grip on it right there. You can twirl it. Okay, stupid sound effects, ignore those. Look, and this right here is where you put your pen in. It's your pen holder. It opens up, has an extra nibs inside. Everybody likes extra nibs. Anyways, there's more cords right here, HDMI cable, and some more cords cord galore because you know you gotta this thing requires power here goes your stand right here you actually got to take some screws and screw it in but fortunately all the equipment that you need to install it to the back of the pin display is in the box and now we open the styrofoam protection and reveal the canvas pro 22 why do i have an accent still Okay, anyways, it looks beautiful though, even though it's still inside the protective shield to keep it protected while the delivery. And it has this convenient little Ziploc-like opening thing, which is cool. Slide that bad boy out, lay it down. Look, express keys. Oh, I didn't have express keys on my last one, so I'm excited. You gotta peel this screen protector off. Don't try to draw on the screen protector. Here they are side by side. My old GT191 that they sent me a few months ago and the brand new Canvas Pro 22. You can see the size difference and the style is a little different as well. And also on the Canvas Pro 22, the cords actually come out from the side, which is way more convenient. As you can see on my GT191, the cords actually underneath, which kind of get in the way sometimes. Now here I'm testing response time and lag and I can't really notice any lag. But look at these strokes though. It's safe to say that the Canvas Pro 22 will increase your stroke, okay. But the upgraded pen though, honestly, is amazing. I like how light you have to press with the pen. It feels very smooth and natural. And as you can see, I lost it for a bit. Now I'm starting with a warm-up sketch of this character from this one anime. Uh, you probably wouldn't know what anime it is, so you know, just disregard it, but whatever. Uh, but the Canvas Pro 22 has over 8,000 levels of pin pressure sensitivity. That's ridiculous. Ridiculously great. And as you can see from this sketch that even with base brush settings, you get a wide range of brush size and brush tone. Okay, as you can see here, now I'm getting serious and I'm sketching as fast as I can. The clock is ticking and if I don't hurry, if I don't hurry up, the Sensu Bean Cartel could be in jeopardy. Okay, it's it's obviously uh, sped up, but um, um, the pin display is in full HD, 1080p, 
like most Huey on pin displays are, but in addition, it has 100% sRGB color gamut, which means your image is gonna look good as hell, bro. You may have to play with the color settings some to get your colors perfect, but I just left my settings on normal. It looked great already. Surprisingly, this comes with anti-glare glass, which is rare on these types of devices since anti-glare is usually for devices that are used outside. But uh, this is a big plus for me, actually. I work a lot at night, and the light in my room would have a huge glare on my other tablet. Not on this one, though, bruh. There will be no glare today. Okay, anyways, the express keys. Oh, the express keys. Where have you been all my life? <laughs> I've searched high and low my car keys, the Florida keys, but I have never found the express keys until now. Okay, stop. Let me tell you though, I didn't have express keys before and I had to reach around all the way around my other display and press the keyboard. Now that got uncomfortable after a while now the express keys are just like right there next to the screen literally on the display so that saves so much time and so much energy another thing that i found surprising is that the canvas pro 22 feels even lighter than my old one which is smaller which to me indicates a smarter build actually you have a bigger item with the same features with upgrades yet it's lighter in weight than the smaller model that's just smart design if you ask me. It's even thinner. So now I moved my art over to Photoshop and I'm playing with the colors and honestly, the Canvas Pro 22 handles colors very well. As you can see, I'm adjusting colors and making slight changes and the display is picking it up with no problem. So uh, honestly, in conclusion, this is an amazing product for the price, by far the best pen display I've ever used. And uh, it will be my main display that I use for all of my upcoming animations. Now, it's marked at $899, so I'd say it's about mid-range price-wise compared to similar devices. But unless you're willing to pay over $1,500 or more, you will not find anything better than the Canvas Pro series Huion has just released. So, I'm just so grateful that they sent this to me and uh, if you follow the links below you can pick one of these up yourself unfortunately I have no discount codes for you guys since it's such a new device but hey maybe next time well thanks once again to the Sensu Bean Cartel it's because of your support that I get to work with awesome companies like Huion and words can't even describe how grateful I am I love you guys and until next time stay powerful and don't just look like a legit anime image, bruh. He got baby oil on his chest, bruh.